guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and I'm bringing you a deck review of my newly acquired Victorian Gothic Lenormand. Okay, so like I've said before in my other videos, the purpose of me doing these deck reviews is not for everybody to go out and go shop happy and buy these decks, but more because I really like the art and decks, and I just like showing art. Um, when I was a little kid, I used to well, what am I saying used to? I still cut out pictures from magazines and I keep them in a folder. Um, more of like inspiration. I like to look at various like color and clothing and purses, shoes. Maybe there was just like certain colors that were in a magazine or something that I came across that I really liked. And I keep them in this gigantic binder, which maybe I'll show you guys sometime. Um, but yeah, and you know, so I just like beautiful images, you know, and being a photographer, that's kind of like my thing. Um, so this uh, uh, Lenormand is actually uh, kind of a mixed media uh, where there was, you know, obviously a lot of Photoshop has been done with actual images and then uh, superimposing other images on top. So um, this is our title card here. And this is put out by a uh, white rabbit, uh, which you can find on Etsy. And I'll put a link to their shop down below. And got a little little copyright down here for Ariana Siegel, which is um, um, the creator of White Rabbit. And there's your title card. Okay, um, so pretty good cardstock, nice and thick. Um, it has like a semi semi sheen to it. And here's the backs of the cards, so you guys can get in nice and clear. All right, so let's jump into this deck. So um, they do give a like two men and then two women to choose from depending on who you'd like to use for your significator. Um, so these two I have pulled out because um, I prefer the other man and the other woman um, in the deck. So here's the first man and here's the first lady or woman. Um, so I've put these off to the side and I've chosen Edgar Allan Poe, my main homie, you know, me being an English teacher and ginormous nerd. <laughs> and actually I just put the decal up in my classroom that says nevermore, like on our, um, wall. And I don't know if I'll just kind of keep it up there the rest of the year because I totally dig it and it's an English classroom, like hello. And I do apologize for the horrible nails. I plan on getting them fixed next week. <laughs> Okay, so here's our man. Here's the bear, and here it looks like a specter going up the stairs. The path. And so not only do I think this is appropriate for um, kind of the fall season or Samhain, Halloween, um, but there's something about just darker decks or gothic decks that I really like. I mean, anybody who's watched my videos, you know that I have a really like bright and happy personality and you know, and I, I'm like all about light and fun. Um, but when it comes to my tastes, yes, I do love light fun. I do like pastel colors. I like neon colors. Um, but there's also a side of me that really likes the darker tones. Um, and I've been that way since, I don't know, since I can remember, since I started reading books, you know, I used to like those, um, um, like scary stories to tell in the dark type books where it had the really, um, very, uh, eerie, like, um, ink sketching photos in there, or I mean, drawings in the books, which I thought was like, pretty cool. Here we have the letter and your Mises which Wally would have to kill. Wally's actually off camera right now. He's chilling on <laughs> some of the plastic that we have around on our things. And here's my other lady that I, I like. So this is the lady that I kept in the deck. Here I have hearts, birds, lilies, clouds. This one was a little harder for me. Um, you know, because the clouds seem obscured, but you know, I like that it does have the keyword at, uh, down at the bottom. Otherwise, I think I would have a harder time with some of the things in this deck, like garden, clover, here's our child, coffin, star, ah, a card that comes 
comes up a lot. Moon, no matter what deck I'm using. And house. Okay, so let's go ahead and give these a shuffle for you guys, just so you can see what they might look like all laid out. So shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, so let's say, I don't know, we're choosing the cross as our significator for whatever reason. <laughs> and then we pull a couple more cards. Just move this so you guys can see. And there you have it. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any comments or questions if you have this deck. Um, you know, what are your experiences working with it? Um, I connected with it right away. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I love working with all different types of systems. You know, I like, um, using the tarot. I like Oracle. I like Lenormand. I like using the pendulum and, um, you know, and various other mediums. Um, but this particular Lenormand deck, I, I like a lot. So, so yeah. Um, and if, um, you know, nothing where I'm not like trying to persuade anybody to buy this deck, but I just really hope that you guys enjoyed the images and that you guys enjoyed this review. So if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell for more videos just like this. And I'll see you spiritual homies later. All right. Peace, love and chicken grease. Peace out.